Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel. So today I will show you how to set up your own proxy server for free. So all you have to have for this is just a VPS server and uh, you can get it for free almost. And I will link in this video's description a way to get digital ocean vps server with 100 dollars included credit if you use the link from this video description and basically you will have the proxy server for free until you spend the 100 dollars credit extra that was added to your account if you sign up from the link below okay so this is uh, the setup and now let me show you how to actually uh, run your own proxy server. So I'm here on DigitalOcean. Let me create a new droplet so you can follow the steps that I make here and I will explain everything. So you can select Ubuntu. It's uh, good. It's well designed for what we need here. Select the $5 per month server from the basic tier. You can set your location whichever you need type a root password okay and all you have to do is maybe rename your server from here your new uh, virtual host just to let you know which is the proxy server you create okay so let's give this a name proxy server and hit create <clears throat> the process should take not more than a minute or two to finish until then let's sit back and relax and wait for this progress bar to reach the end and it's almost done as you can see so we will have our own vps server up and running the linux right now so we can go in to this vps and check and click on the console link from here to access the VPS console. Now at the login phase, enter root and enter the password you added before in the setup stage. Okay, so here we are, we have our server set up. Now, you should click in the link from this video's description and you should see similar page like this and you have to copy all the instructions that i list here so copy the first one <clears throat> apt update this will update the packages from your server and it should not take very long afterwards copy the second instruction this will actually install the squid proxy server on your linux host this will be used by us to create the proxy server so installation should be quick <clears throat> Although we have the lowest tier of VPS, only the $5 per month server, but it still makes really quick installations and it is handling this process really well. So now let's copy this instruction and this should finish in a while because this is actually installing the proxy on our server and this can take a bit longer than other pro processes that we make and as you can see the steps that are required are not that complicated so you have to copy and paste some simple instructions here okay so when you see this we can paste the next instruction and also the next one these work instantly we can check also the sim 
<coughs> the status as the, of the squid server. So here it is. It's okay. If you want to check also if the server is working and listening, you should hit Ctrl C here multiple times and then enter the command that you copied. So netstat might not be installed on your server for this run apt install net tools. After this is finished, we can run again the netstat and check if so netstat dash tnlp and now we see that squid is listed here which is okay okay so now the proxy server is running all we have to do now is configure it so if you want to change the port of the proxy you can do it by editing the configuration file of the proxy server so you can navigate to this path so write cd and the path that you copied and if we check here we will have a squid.conf file so if we write ls which lists the contents of this directory squid.conf so all you have to do is write we squid.conf and here the file will be opened for editing in the WIM editor. Okay, so now all we have to do is if we want to change the port from the default 3128 to another port, you can do it in this uh, conf file. So for this, go to the, the console and if you want to search, write slash and paste what you were looking for and hit enter to make the to check the next uh, appearance of this word in the text hit n so hitting n right now and until we don't see what we are looking for so this is it so this is what we were looking for http port 3128 so to edit this write i the letter i to insert and now you can modify and edit the file freely so as you can see we can edit the file freely when you are done editing hit escape <coughs> now colon w and Q and hit enter and the file was saved and written to the file and you exited the editor okay so this is needed only if you want to edit the port if you don't want to edit this port we can go ahead again and enable local net access which will enable access for the internet from this proxy so once again sorry this is not this is it so once again enter the squid.com file but now we should search for this string so http access allow local net so the same process as before slash to search paste the https http access allow local net and hit enter and you will find this string which has this hashtag before which means it is deactivated it is comment commented out so once again hit i the letter i on your keyboard and now you enter the inserting mode which will allow you to edit the the contents of the document so all you have to do is go with the cursor to the hashtag and delete it now hit escape <coughs> colon w q 
Q. Hit enter and the file was written once again. Next step is to edit the IP range which is allowed to connect to your proxy. So to this we will once again edit the squid.com file and now we will search for this string. Normally you can do this from a single editing but I am helping you guys to get used to the WIM editor. This is why I am keeping exiting and entering it. Okay, so I search for this string now, ACL local net SRC. And all you have to do is hit enter now, hit I to go to the edit mode. And here you can write the IP address ranges which are allowed to connect to this proxy. So let's say I want to allow all IP addresses to connect. So for this, I instead of zero here, I write to five five. So you can see this is a range. So IP addresses are from zero 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 one to this address range two five five two five five two five five and another one two five five. So this is the range of IP addresses which are allowed to access this proxy. And now I made this proxy to be able to be accessed from any IP address. Now hit escape, colon WQ, enter, and you return the file. <coughs> okay, if you want to whitelist your uh, IP address only, you can enter the IP address in, the, in here, and it will be whitelisted and no other IP addresses will be allowed, only yours. Okay, so basically this is all. Uh, if you want to hit a reboot on your server, you can do it now. If you don't want this, then you can restart the process from the only the process of the proxy, but I think the best is to fully reboot your server, especially if it is not newly installed. So if you have it from an older occasion, then it is good to reboot it. So we are waiting now for the reboot to finish. <coughs> and after the reboot, we can check if the squid proxy is running if we enter this command. So verify the squid service status after the reboot is finished and it should be in a minute now we will enter this command in the console and we will see if our proxy is up and running on our server we once again need to log in don't forget your first password for the server because you will not have access if you forget your password and it's okay active running with green okay now we can test the proxy if we scroll down and copy for example this string and enter it in a command prompt on our local windows machine not on the droplet but on a local machine just to test the connectivity to the proxy so now let's copy the IP address of our droplet, go back to the command prompt, paste the IP address here. So it looks like this. And all we have to do is hit enter. And if everything is set up correctly, a similar response will be shown HTTP 1.1 200 OK. So this means uh, the proxy is up and functional. OK. Now let me show you how to use this proxy in Crawlomatic in one of the plugins I created. So in Crawlomatic we will have the option to scrape content and import it to our WordPress site. So if we use here a visual selector tool to scrape the myip.com website 
and uh, we use the visual selector to check the content of the site we will see that my current IP address is this starting with 172 however if we enter uh, in the plugins main settings and search for proxy then we can enter the IP address of the proxy server we created and don't forget to add also the port because it will not function without the port the default port is this 3128 and enter also the port go ahead and save settings and if we refresh and uh, refresh this loading we will see that the proxy IP address is popping up so just to double check 157245 so yeah as you can see our proxy is working and it is allowing us to proxify websites and to get their content without the source to know from where we are getting or scraping the site so yeah this is how you will be able to create your own proxies i hope this tutorial helped i will link in this video description also the crawlomatic plugin which will be able to use the proxies you create without any further ado and yeah go ahead and also check the link from this video's description it will provide you with a 100 dollar digital ocean subscription boost so yeah this is all for today i hope you found this video useful and until next time please subscribe if you enjoyed this video have a nice day stay safe bye bye